This is section 64 of Mark Twain's Speeches by Mark Twain. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Osteopathy by Mark Twain. Read by John Greenman. On February 27, 1901, Mr. Clemens appeared before the Assembly Committee in Albany, New York, in favor of the Seymour Bill, legalizing the practice of osteopathy. Mr. Chairman and Gentlemen, Dr. Van Fleet is the gentleman who gave me the character. I have heard my character discussed a thousand times before you were born, sir, and shown the iniquities in it, and you did not get more than half of them. I was touched and distressed when they brought that part of a child in here and proved that you cannot take a child to pieces in that way. What remarkable names those diseases have! It makes me envious of the man that has them all. I have had many diseases, and am thankful for all I have had. One of the gentlemen spoke of the knowledge of something else found in Sweden, a treatment which I took. It is, I suppose, a kindred thing. There is apparently no great difference between them. I was a year and a half in London and Sweden, in the hands of that grand old man, Mr. Kildren. I cannot call him a doctor, for he has not the authority to give a certificate if a patient should die, but fortunately they don't. The state stands as a mighty Gibraltar clothed with power. It stands between me and my body, and tells me what kind of a doctor I must employ. When my soul is sick, unlimited spiritual liberty is given me by the state. Now then, it doesn't seem logical that the state shall depart from this great policy, the health of the soul, and change about and take the other position in the matter of smaller consequence, the health of the body. The Bell Bill limitations would drive the osteopaths out of the state. Oh, dear me, when you drive somebody out of the state, you create the same condition as prevailed in the Garden of Eden. You want the thing that you can't have. I didn't care much about the osteopaths, but as soon as I found they were going to drive them out, I got in a state of uneasiness, and I can't sleep nights now. I know how Adam felt in the Garden of Eden about the prohibited apple. Adam didn't want the apple till he found out he couldn't have it, just as he would have wanted osteopathy if he couldn't have it. Whose property is my body? Probably mine. I so regard it. If I experiment with it, who must be answerable? I, not the state. If I choose injudiciously, does the state die? Oh, no. I was the subject of my mother's experiment. She was wise. She made experiments cautiously. She didn't pick out just any child in the flock. No, she chose judiciously. She chose one she could spare, and she couldn't spare the others. I was the choice child of the flock, so I had to take all of the experiments. In 1844, Kneipp filled the world with the wonder of the water cure. Mother wanted to try it, but on sober second thought, she put me through. A bucket of ice water was poured over to see the effect. Then I was rubbed down with flannels. Sheet was dipped in the water, and I was put to bed. I perspired so much that Mother put a life preserver to bed with me. But this had nothing but a spiritual effect on me, and I didn't care for that. When they took off the sheet, it was yellow from the output of my conscience, the exutation of sin. It purified me spiritually, and it remains until this day. I have experimented with osteopathy and allopathy. I took a chance at the latter for old time's sake, 
for three times when a boy mother's new methods got me so near death's door she had to call in the family physician to pull me out the physicians think they are moved by regard for the best interests of the public isn't there a little touch of self-interest back of it all it seems to me there is and i don't claim to have all the virtues only nine or ten of them i was born in the banner state and by banner state i mean missouri osteopathy was born in the same state and both of us are getting along reasonably well at a time during my younger days my attention was attracted to a picture of a house which bore the inscription christ disputing with the doctors i could attach no other meaning to it than that christ was actually quarreling with the doctors so i asked an old slave who was a sort of an herb doctor in a small way unlicensed of course what the meaning of the picture was what has he done i asked and the colored man replied humph he ain't got no license end of osteopathy by mark twain read by john greenman